Hello everyone. In this video, again we are going to see about serial communication. Uh, here I am going to transmit the data using mode 1. So it is, not, it is going to be little more tricky than your mode 0. So in mode 0, we, are, we can't able to determine our baud rate, right? Here we have to determine our baud rate with your timer. So we have to be making sure of your uh, concepts with respect to timer. So those who are not familiar with timer, just go through your uh, timer which videos which we have already uh, given so that this will be easy for you to understand. So now I am going to transmit an information using mode 1 of your serial communication. So the question which is given in front of us, so write an assembly language program for 8051 to transmit 8051 to URT serial window using my serial communication with mode 1 with baud rate of 9600. So here you are going to be determining with your baud rate. So I can able to say that this is the baud rate which I want. So what are the information which is given to us? I have to send a message of 8051 and after that it should be in mode 1. So uh, previously we have understood about mode 0 in last two experiments. This is going to be mode 1. So in mode 1, what are the things which we can able to see? So your serial data enters through RXT, your serial data exists to TXT and on receiving of stop bits, your R8 in terms of uh, goes into your uh, RB8 of your SCON. So it is going to be for your SCON so that uh, we can able to uh, have in terms of your baud rate. So here all this information with respect to uh, baud rate is determined by your timer 1. right? So with respect to timer 1, I am going to get my information and it can able to do the process. So we have to be uh, very much uh, keen in terms of your uh, timer 1 and after that we can able to do the operation. So Again, uh, if I am going to uh, use my uh, mode 1, so I have to understand about what is PCON. So PCON again, uh, by using your uh, higher frequency crystal, I can able to increase my baud rate or else I can able to use my PCON register to increase my baud rate. So again, my PCON register is an 8-bit register. So what is my PCON register is going to determine? As of now, for this experiment, only this bit is going to be used. So if you are going to use in terms of yes mod, so if you are, whenever it is going to be 8051 is going to be powered up, yes mod is going to have the value of 00. So till now we have not uh, gone much too uh, deep into PCON register because already it is going to have the value of 00, which means your yes mod register is going to be 0. So none of them is going to matter here in mode 0. But if it is going to be uh, with respect to your uh, mode 1, so your baud rate is going to be determined by your uh, uh, register with respect to your timer. So timer has to be coming into picture. So this timer should be having an th value, right? So how this th value can be determined? That is going to be determined by your PCON register. So for this, so you, have, you, have, you should be having your PCON register, it should be having the value of 0 or it should be having the value of 1, both the things with respect to yes mod. So while we are getting into program, it will be very much uh, easy for you to understand. So it is going to be your crystal frequency 11.0592, so divided by 12 is going to be your mission cycle. So we can able to see about 921.6 kilohertz. So if your S mod is going to be 1, what will happen? If your S mod is going to be 0, what will happen? So if your S mod is going to be 1, it is going to be with 57600 uh, hertz. And if your S mod is going to be 0, it is going to be 28800 hertz of baud rate. So what I have said, your baud rate should be 9600, right? So if that is the case, so what should be the value of TH1? So we have to be uh, understanding. So I have to load the value of TH here. Because, so it is going to be activated with my timer. So if it is going to be activated with my timer, I should be activating my timer in that specific mode as well as I have to give the values for TH and TL, right? So if uh, I want to have the value of, if I am going to have the T mod value as 0, so I have said that it is going to be 9600, right? If it is going to be 9600, 
So the hexadecimal value of FD has to be pushed inside my TH1. So what is TH1? So higher byte addressings of my timer 1. So in my timer 1, my TH1 value should be FD. So my uh, if I am going to use my S mod is going to be 0, it is going to have the value of 9600. If I am going to have the value of S mod is equal to 1, I should be pushing the value of EFTA. So it, it, it depends upon you how you are going to program it. But here uh, I am going to uh, give my S mod register as 00, 0 so that I will not disturb my PCON register itself. So if I want, I can able to disturb my PCON register and I can able to say it should be operated in uh, S mod 1 and I can able to do all the things which I need. But this is more than sufficient. Let it uh, let the PCON be in its own way. So PCON will be having the value of 00, 0 so I am not going to disturb with anyone. So I can able to have the baud rate of 9600 if I am going to push the value of FD inside my TH1 of my timer 1. Right. So if I want to operate in mode 1, so this is going to be activating my, it should be having baud rate with respect to timer 1. In my timer 1, it should be having my TH1 value as my FD and so that your value so is going to be having your 9600. So, uh, if it is respect to timer, I should be giving with my TMOR register. We have seen already many videos with respect to TMOR. We can able to go to the previous videos. Just I will give a glance. So, it is not going to be 89. So, uh, it is going to be with respect to timer 0 and it is respect to timer 1. So, in this timer 0 and timer 1, so in what mode I should operate is I should be having the value of 1, 0. It is going to be 8 bit auto reload mode I should adapt. So that I can able to use it for my serial communication. So that uh, I will be having those informations. Gate, I am not going to give any supply. So I am going to use it as my counter or timer. So I should be using as my counter. So it is having the value of 0. So I should be activating with the value of 1, 0, right? So this is what uh, it is going to have. So in that case, if it is going to be 1, 0, so what is the values correspondingly it is going to have the value of 2 and it is going to have the value of 0 right. So this is the mode which I should operate and uh, this is the way I should have. So it is going to be T mode is going to get the value of 20. So next slide it is going to be more clear. So T mode is going to be getting the value of 20 so that it is going to say it is timer 1 and as well as it is going to say it is mode 2. So how it is saying it is timer 1. So any one of the thing is, is getting activated so it is going to be with timer 1. So if I am going to have the value of 1 and 0 here, it is going to say that I am going to activate in my mode 2. Right. So my T mod register should be getting the value of 20H. Right. So after that, my SCON register should be having some value. Right. So my SCON register, so I have said that it should be activated in my mode 1. So if it is mode 1, it is 0 and 1. So I am going to transmit or receive data. I am going to transmit data. So again, it should be 0. So all other values will be 0. So 8, 4, 2, 1. So it is going to be 4. So it is going to be having the value of 4 here for those 4 bytes. And after that, all other things here, it is going to have the value of 0 here. Right. So all the value of 40 is going to be pushed inside my SCON register so that it is going to be activated in mode 1. So this is with respect to solution. So your T mod register should be having the value of 20H. And your uh, SCON register we have determined here. So it is going to be 40H, right? So this is 40H, sorry. So SCON register will be having the value of 40H so that uh, it is going to be having in terms of mode 1. So your TH1 should be uh, getting my value of FD, right? We have already seen with, my, with the table which is already given to us, right? So it is going to be FT. So I have to activate my timer. If I want to activate my timer, my TR1 should be enabled, right? Set by TR1, which is going to be with respect to my TCON register, right? So just go through that TCON register. So if I want to activate my timer, my TR1 should be enabled. That is what it means. So just go through our previous experiments, how we have done that one. So we have determined what kind of mode it should operate, what is the value of TH and when it should on. So after enabling my SCON register with the value of 40, I'm going to enable my timer so that my timer one will start. And after that, I have to check uh, whether the data is transmitted or not. If it is getting transmitted, so
so the character is going to be uh, written inside my sbuf register so after that i have to wait for my uh, timer flag uh, ta flag to get it uh, enabling and after that point of time i can able to uh, move the loop again and again so we have seen already uh, this solution right so i can able to directly move inside my programming so again this is for uh, coming out of my interrupt locations so escon register uh, should be getting the value of uh, 40 right so escon register is going to get the value of 40 your t mod register is going to get the value of 20 and your uh, th1 is going to get the value of fd so your uh, set byte tr1 it is going to be activating your timer so you are going to push the value of 8051 by 1 inside my sbuf register so it is going to be uh, serial communication right so i am going to push the value of 8 so i have to make sure the 8 is completed so it is going to be jumping here so it is going to be checking whether my transmission is completed when it is completed it is going to be clearing it ti and after that it is going to come to this location so after that it is going to get the value of 0 inside my sbuf register and after that a call delay so a call delay again it is going to jump to this location and after that uh, whenever it is going to be completed so it is going to be jumping to this location so 5 will be moving inside my register a call delay so it is going to be jumping back and after that one will be transmitted so like this individual value of 8051 is sent one by one inside my program and in terms of my uh, serial communication i am transmitting those values of 8051 to my uart so i can able to directly uh, move inside my programming so that uh it will be easy for us to understand so these are the information so escon is going to get the value of 40 right uh, so move the value of 40 so previously i have made a mistake at 10 so just give the value of 40 here so all those things are going to be uh, same i can able to save the data so after that uh, build rebuild so after that i can able to get inside my debug mode so if i am getting inside my debug mode so you know how to take this uh things right so we go through our previous videos so it is going to send the data as one by one and we can able to finally get the display of 8051 so if i am going to uh, transmit the values of one by one escon register is going to get the value of 40 so escon got the value of 40 and after that uh, t mod register is going to get the value of 20 so after that fd register is going to uh, get the value of uh th is going to be th1 is going to get the value of ft and after that i am enabling my timer so move the value of sbuf with my uh, 8 so sbuf is going to get the value of 8 ascii value of 8 is 38 so a call delay it is going to be jumping to the delay program so it is going to wait for the transmission to be completed so whenever the transmission is getting completed so the value of 8 uh, will be correspondingly displayed uh inside my uh uart and after that again and again i have to jump in this loop so that i can able to run and i can able to see 8051 so actually it is going to be transmitting 8 first 0 after that 5 after that 1 like that we are going to send the data as one by one so after completion of everything my ti uh, register is going to be enabled and it is going to be checking all those things right so uh your values of your uh, timer with respect to ta is getting enabled so that after the, uh, confirming the transmission being completed it is going to move to that next alphabet which is going to be c okay so like this i can able to push any values or transmit any values using my serial communication to my uart screen okay. so this is with respect to transmission of information from 8051 to any other uh, peripheral uh, so so cute such chips so that i can able to transmit the informations from 8051 to that peripheral device which are i am going to connect it right so that's it for this video so we can able to see uh, how to receive the data in terms of my 8051 in our next video thank you for your patience listening